What's going on everyone, this is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17 Beta 3. A preview of iOS 17 Beta 3, what can we expect to see on this software update and of course when it will be released to the devs and everyone that is currently testing iOS 17. Before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, it really helps the channel a lot. So we're starting first of all with the current state of iOS 17, as you probably know we're on beta 2 currently. and performance wise it's actually quite good it has been improved since beta 1 and it's actually way better than iOS 16.6 which is currently also on beta and 16.5 which is the latest iOS released by apple so here we have the multi-core score at 6875 while the single core score is at 2642 again quite a big increase from beta 1 and also from iOS 16. now when talking about battery this basically will get mixed reviews from iOS 17 users. We expected like a major fix from iOS 17 beta 1, but of course it has been different for a lot of users. And even for my experience here on this device, which I had on iOS 17 of course since beta 2 has been released and on beta 1 as well, we have like mixed reviews about this some days it's actually quite good some days not that good at all so if we can see here at about 75 percent battery we have almost eight hours on screen which is not that bad then right here we have again right here you can see at about 120 percent battery nine hours 35 minutes which is again quite good some days is really bad some days is maybe better so hopefully that will be improved with the second with the third beta actually so now let's move on and talk about some of the features that we can expect apple to add to ios 17 beta 3. Now, first of all, our widgets. As you probably know, with iOS 17, Apple has finally added interactive widgets on iOS on the home screen. Now, this will be way, way bigger than we think once, of course, iOS 17 gets released to the public and we see third-party apps getting updated with interactive widgets for the home screen. That will be a game changer. But currently, we have the music widget and the reminders widgets and also the contacts widget which is kind of interactable but these are the two ones basically that are totally interactable and you don't have to use the app at all in order to use these widgets from the home screen now with beta 3 i would actually expect apple to make an update on some of the widgets and add the interactive feature to more widgets on the home screen Another thing that I also expected Apple to do with beta 2, but they didn't do it, is the new redesigned wallet app. So we had this actually this report from multiple sources before iOS 17 was released on beta 1, that we will get a revamp wallet app on iOS 17 and we didn't get it until now. Hopefully that will happen with beta 3. If this doesn't release actually with beta 3, I wouldn't expect this to release at all until the public release probably with 17.1 or 17.2 that might be the time that we see the new wallet app otherwise i don't expect this to happen if, if it don't it doesn't happen on beta 3 probably won't happen through these beta stages at all now one thing i'm really not expecting to change anymore since it hasn't changed on beta 1 and beta 2 is the control center now we had this report for years now it was a report with ios 15 iOS 16 and from multiple sources on iOS 17, a new revamped control center and it didn't happen. I really expected this to happen. This has been actually reported from very reliable sources, but it didn't happen. It, it didn't also happen with beta 2 and I'm actually not even expecting it to happen with beta 3, which is of course really, really bad. It would be an amazing thing to have a totally new look on the control center. And of course, even more features that would allow you to actually customize it the way you like it, put the controls where you need them, and of course, have more control over your device from the control center. And another feature that I would expect to come to iOS 17 beta 3 is the new grid look for the lock screens. This one right here that we have now that we had since iOS 16 has been released is actually quite bad. If you have a lot of different lock screens created, it's actually quite annoying and it will take some time to find the lock screen that you need. 
otherwise having it on the grid view 2x3 here you would have like six different lock screens on the one page and it would make it really really easy for you to find the lock screen that you're looking for otherwise this one is actually pretty outdated and it's not really useful at all another thing i would expect apple to change with beta 3 and i'm hoping they will is the new video player the system-wide video video player on ios this is actually way worse than it was you can see right here if i try to go to the full screen mode it actually doesn't take up the full screen and you don't actually have the feature where you can just like scroll anywhere on the video you will have to actually go through the slider in order to do that so as you can see right here it actually has these weird controls here and we only have this option go here you cannot actually swipe to go backwards or forwards if you do that it will just take you out of the video of course despite these new features that we're expecting apple to add with the beta 3 of ios 17 we also are expecting them to fix some bugs and some of them that i have noticed that are being reported by a lot of users first of all one very very annoying that it started happening on my device since i have updated to ios 17 beta 1 and that's the wi-fi just randomly disconnecting from the router that's really really annoying even though the wi-fi connection in my house here is actually very very strong and the router is very close to the iphone it just keeps disconnecting without a reason that's actually very annoying hopefully that will be fixed another one is the allow to paste pop-up now that is a feature that apple has added with ios 16 and it had the same bug when ios 16 was released it was fixed then and now it's back so basically whenever you want to paste something into an app it will ask you whether you want to allow to paste to that app now that should pop up once once you do it for the first time and then you shouldn't see that pop up anymore once you have allowed that to happen but for some reason that bug is back with ios 17 and it keeps showing up every time i try to paste something now of course we're expecting as with every other beta improvements on battery life now when it comes to battery life and performance these two are always very closely related to one another even though performance is actually quite good with iOS 17, battery life, is, even as I said at the beginning of the video, it's not actually that good for a lot of users. So hopefully we will have improvements here on battery life since we're actually getting very close to the public beta release for which we're going to talk about in a minute here. And something else is the keyboard. Now the keyboard was were very buggy with beta 1 on all of the apps. Now it has been fixed within the apps, but on the spotlight search it's actually very, very buggy a lot of times. Some sometimes this search search bar will drop like like here, right here and it's actually very annoying hopefully that will be fixed as well so now let's talk about the release date when can we expect the third beta of ios 17 to be released to the devs so as you know this upcoming week we will have the update it will be two weeks from the release of the second beta and i would expect apple actually to do this on wednesday july 5th or 6th these are the two dates that i would expect apple to release the third beta of ios 17. they probably won't do it on monday and then on the fourth is the independence day so that won't happen of course during holidays they don't release anything so expect it on the fifth or the sixth and then the week after this i would expect apple to release the public beta of ios 17. that will most likely happen on july 10th or 11th these are the two dates that i'm actually expecting apple to release the first public beta of ios 17 even though even currently with the dev beta everyone actually can install it for free so i don't think if it makes any sense of releasing now public beta or not due to the fact that this is already public and it's free for everyone to download on their device so should you update or not to ios 17 beta 3 of course you should if you're currently on ios 17 beta 2 of course you should it will be way better of course improvements security fixes bug fixes and new features as well so yes you should should you update to the public beta well if you want to try it out and even if you have a main device i think the time when apple releases a public beta it's actually the perfect time for you to try out a new software so yes if you're very interested on ios 17 i think that will be the perfect time for you to 
to start testing iOS 17 on your device. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. For more iOS 17 videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Of course, leave a like if you enjoyed this one. I'll see you on the next video.